Chapter four of Find Your Way Home is Find Your Place in the Circle. All are welcome here. We say it and we mean it, but do we really live it? Stephanie Spellers in her fantastic book, Radical Welcome, talks about three kinds of welcome. None of them are bad. All of them are welcoming, but they are welcoming to different degrees. And each one invites us to a progressively deeper experience of Christ in one another. The first level of welcoming is that you are welcome to come in here and be like the rest of us. Now that's still welcoming. Nobody's kept out, but the expectation is that you will either fit in naturally or you're going to hide the parts of you that don't. The second level of welcoming is you're welcome to come in here and be who you are, but over there. Somewhere off to the side where you don't have any power to influence the dominant culture of the community. This is what we do with satellite ministries that are often formed around, say, children and youth and people of different races than the dominant culture of the community. Then there is the third level of welcoming. This is what Stephanie calls radical welcome. Radical Welcome says that you are welcome to come in here and be exactly who you are and expect that who you are will be allowed to affect, allowed to change the greater us. It is the kind of welcome that recognizes that every time a new person comes in contact with the community, the community changes and thank God, hallelujah for that. Radical welcome is hard work, but it is also incredible work. It is recognizing that every time someone comes in, they are like a present ready to be unwrapped on Christmas morning. A church of radical welcome, a church where all are invited to find your place in the circle, is a church that doesn't other people. Inviting everyone to find your place in the circle means that there are no outreach ministries because that suggests that there is an us who are privileged who reach out to a them who are not. Instead, a community that says find your place in the circle is one where everyone is a part of the community. And the question we ask together is how can we make this a community of equity and justice? That means instead of helping the homeless, as if images of God struggling with homelessness are not a part of us already, it is saying, you know, some of us in this circle are struggling with homelessness. That's not equity. That's not justice. That's not love. That is not the dream of God. So how do we all together change that and truly become the beloved community?